Okay, so today um, I'm just going over my fork rebuild for my 87 Honda Magna. I'm sure all the other Magnas are the same. Um, so you just undo this, you know, this clamp and that clamp and the wheel and the fender. There they are, wheel and the fender. And, uh, you know, outside the tubes. So I, hopefully you know how to do that. Okay, so here's the second one. I've already done the first one. Um, so the first thing to do is to take that cap off. Um, loosen it up while it's in the fork or in the uh, triple tree because then it's clamped and you can loosen it. I loosen it with an um, impact wrench just because I love my impact wrench. And then put it in the vise so that it can drain. There you go. All right. And then what I did is I took this. Oops. Hang on. Okay, so there's a uh, uh, bolt. There it is right there. This bolt right there. And that's the bolt that's at the bottom of your fork. It's right under here. So here I'll switch this around. It's right in there, that hole. Okay, so it's a little long, so you can't get it with a regular um, a hex driver. So you have to use, you know, one shape like this. But what I did, because that bolt can be a bugger, is I cut this off right here, and the six millimeter, which is what this is, um, just fits inside a a regular bit driver. So now I have a regular bit driver that I can put in an impact wrench. There you go. So let's see how this works. Okay. So I've got the bit seated in there. Let's see if it works. Nope, need more power. All right, so I need a little more power on this uh, Bad boy, so I got the air ratchet or the air impact. Juicy, you want that? There we go. She's in there. <laughs> Out she comes. Okay, go ahead and stop it. Okay, and what I what I didn't show you was. Um, on top of the spring is this piece right here, okay, and then, then you have the spacer that fits on top of that, on top of the spring, which I pulled out. You just pull out the top, all right, and now we have to take the seal out, and so you can see the condition of the seal is El Stinko, and... It just comes out very simply. Just like that. There's the old cracked seal. And then you can see down in there, there's a clip. And that clip looks just like this. And that's what holds your fork in, so you pop that out just with a screwdriver. Okay, now the fun part. Um, you get the oil seal out, seal out, and you do that just by uh, using this, this like a slide hammer. And I don't know if I can make it do it one-handed. But you just pound it like this. Oops, there she comes. That's all there is to it. Out comes that oil seal. Okay, and then you got two slides. You got two slides there and the oil seal. I'm going to replace the oil seal and inspect the slides and then uh, clean the inside of this uh, fork tube. Okay, so now we're going to remove the dampening rod, which is this bad boy right here. And you'll see right up top there, there's a. I get it to focus. There we go. See that little ring? 
Well, this, this little ring goes there. And then I've, you can see I moved it up there. You pull that ring off, and this whole assembly slides down and out the bottom. Of course, I need two hands to do that, so when you're done with that, boom, this is what you get. This comes out, and you clean everything with brake fluid, and then you're ready to put the uh, everything back together with the new bushing, the new uh, fork seals. Okay, before we assemble these, um, I've already I've already dropped these in with the springs on. I have extras. Uh, you want to look at these sliders, and the outside on this this one doesn't matter. It's the inside that matters because that's where the sliding surface is. And on this one, it's the outside that matters. Oops, come on, can't focus. There you go. And you can see here's one. Here's one off another fork. And you can see that the one in my hand is not as good as the one on this fork. You can see the sliding surface starting to show some copper through. That's that graphite surface. You want to keep that, make sure that looks good. Make sure there's no, you know, scoring or gouges or anything on it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll pick the best ones and put them back on. And of course this slides over, over the tube and it'll go right there. Okay, so we slid the, um, rebound shaft back inside there and put the, the little clip back on okay and then we got to take this um, slider it goes down like that all right and then you got to take one of these little babies that usually gets stuck in the bottom of the fork right there inside and you put the skinny end up that way I want to show that again. I think I missed it. That goes cool. right there, inside. And this sits in it, in the pocket right there. Okay. So now I'm going to carefully put the fork back in. And then I'm going to. Nut with the washer on, don't forget the washer. Get it started, hopefully it all lines up. Then I'm gonna take my rattle gun. My light one, not the heavy one. Put a little rattle on it. Okay. Now I'm going to stand this fork up. Okay. And the next step is the is this washer. Okay. Clean it off. It's got a rounded side and this rigid side, the rounded side goes up towards the seal. And then you have a new seal. Okay, and the end with the space, you see this Ben? See that space there, the fat space, that goes down. This space goes up. Up. And then, take my trusty uh, all-purpose W40. Alright. Just put that on here. Slide that down in like that. And then, this is my fork seal. You can go buy a $50 tool or you can go to Home Depot and get some one and a half inch um, ABS pipe for $2. Right over like that. Boom. Yep, slides 
like that. It's in. And you take one of these little babies right there. Put that in. And then I get my trusty soft tip, round tip, old screwdriver. So it pops in there. And you get your new dust seal. Trusty quick lube. Put that dust seal on. Yay. And then what I do is take your old trusty rubber mallet. Oh, like that. Okay. Okay, keep looking at this. And then you take your spring, the tight winds down, like that. Okay. I might find it's easier to do it like this. Okay, you need your cap and your washer and spacer and I'm not going to oil put oil in it right now simply because um, I'm going to do it in the bike later so this washer goes inside there and sits on top of the spring and the spacer goes there and the cap goes on like that. There you go. Except for the oil, that's a rebuilt fork there. So now I got two forks rebuilt ready to go back in the bike.